The last few days, America has been reintroduced to an Atlanta legend who now has been dead for 20 years. The brilliant, mercurial Atlanta Symphony conductor and choral leader Robert Shaw has been the subject of a sensational PBS television documentary, American Masters, Men of Many Voices. Astonishingly, Shaw had no classical or conservatory training. He was a champion of racial equality. When he toured the South in the 1960s, Shaw and his group refused to stay or perform in segregated venues. He turned the Atlanta Symphony into an all-star team, becoming one of the best in the world. Shaw led the symphony for 20 years, fighting the board. He was fired once, and then he was later rehired. These videos were given to us by the ASO. Shaw would take the Atlanta Symphony to East Berlin in the late 1980s to perform Beethoven's Ninth, the country under communist control at that time. The moment captured on film may have defined his remarkable life. You should check it out. Atlanta without Robert Shaw is like Atlanta without Andrew Jones or John Lewis or uh, Tom Glavin or Dominique Wilkins, Andrew Young. Uh, he changed everything. Boxes at Grammys, of course, record sales in between alcohol, women, a temper, a son born when he was 60. His flair for the dramatic, even in death, attending his son's play at Yale, Beckett's Endgame, he dies in the audience. What a life, perhaps somewhat lost in the fog of the new Atlanta, the, the American Masters documentary on Robert Shaw's on PBS and online. And by the way, Cheryl's father performed with him a couple of times, including Carnegie Hall in New York City.